Monograms 1959 Cadillac Convertible coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello, classic car fans. Once again, my name is Trevor Selescu, and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, tonight we are going to look at our 1959 cars, starting with the 59 Cadillac Convertible. Now, this is the one that everybody wanted to have back in the day, and they painted it pink. The big rock stars had these, and, well, lots of people. Except customizer car guys never like these. <laughs> But let's pour on the chrome, let's put our pedal to the metal, and let's go down to the bench and open up the lid on the 59 Caddy. Now we're going to open up the box on an original issue of Monogram's 1959 Cadillac Convertible, which unfortunately, this corner kind of got spray bombed on somehow. But anyway, this is a skill level 2 kit, and when Monogram designed this in the early late 90s, early 2000s, they were trying to compete with Tamiya Japan in the detail level. So, as you can see, actually early 90s, bought at Toys and Wheels Park Royal, that's in British Columbia, for $16.99 on April 18th, 1993. So, I've had this for a while. You also got this cool, totally awesome uh, advertising thing. Get sent away for a free catalog. I don't know if you can do that anymore, <laughs> but anyway, $16.99, it's about half of what you're paying now. Okay, so they give you some history on the Cadillac, and then paint call-out colors. And now this is quite the elaborate Cadillac motor, if you're a big fan of Cadillac in plastic, you get all the components as well as the two transmission pans, the oil pan and the transmission plan, I should say. This is a tricarb model. But I mean, look at all that detail, all those components. They even had a clear water bottle or something on here, if I remember right. I'm not quite seeing it though. And your chassis and undercarriage. Let's see. It's quite the huge menu of parts <laughs> locations for everything. This has got airbags in your suspension for the nice, what do they call it, Dynaflow? Or maybe that was Chrysler, Chrysler Dynaflow ride. Same kind of thing. Load leveling suspension, high luxury stuff. The interior has some separate door panels molded in, separate plated speaker moldings for your seat, multi-piece seats, multi-piece instrument panels, a whole bunch of cool stuff, a whole bunch of body details there, and it keeps going on, two-piece radiators, oh there's the uh, clear washer bottles and bottle top, two-piece air cleaner, Very nice, lots of lots of glass on that front bumper. And of course, opening hood with hinges and separate windshield wiper blades. Even They even give you a chrome sheet for the side chrome so that you don't have to use bare metal foil if you don't have it. And you can also add in the folded convertible top up or down, as well as all the cool cool uh, rear view mirrors with two piece rear view mirror so very very detailed as you can tell we're going to start with our glass here you can see it's a nice clear crisp there's our washer bottle there um, put that carefully over there the chrome oh, look at that nice shine <laughs> All the detail in there, even the vent right there, the mesh, the little, that's a horn ring on your steering wheel. But yeah, you can tell a lot of crisp detail on there. This is one of the the better monogram kits. There's our nice pink Cadillac body. Now, if you guys don't want to paint this thing pink, well, it's much like red 
if you paint it white it will come out pink anyway so you want to want to paint it like flat black or something first there's our hood you can see there's like pretty much zero gap when that hood goes down it's very nice very very good tolerances the top is molded in white so essentially you really don't need to paint this model if you're new to model kits and there's our clear parts but of course you know being a professional model builder for it's like 30 plus years of my life I, I say paint it <laughs> always apply paint even if it's molded in pink and you want it pink paint it pink because there's nothing like paint I'll tell you and the other reason is plastic oh look at it's even got the uh, door door lock buttons on the top there uh, plastic paint or plastic if you put liquid glue or something on it the glue will actually change the color of the plastic over time but if you glue something on and then paint the whole thing the paint will cover all that so there's our our uh, interior and then there's some more pink seats <laughs> the top folded down is pink so you got a white top up and a pink top down <laughs> okay here's the chrome this is 1959 El Dorado on the license plates, as well as another Michigan plate. Michigan seems to be very popular for these model manufacturers. Uh, what's what's so cool about Michigan? Uh, you Americans writing can tell me. <laughs> Watching the videos, write in the comments. What is cool about Michigan? It's got to be something, because all these model cars have Michigan plates. Is it like the home of something that's so cool that every model kit has to have a Michigan plate I don't know but anyway this is molded in like a smoke gray color metallic so very interesting and that's your under pan of course there's your exhaust pipes and the rear axle with these gigantic uh, guides on there GM actually I'll just bring this over from about 1958 up into the mid early 60s GM was trying this X ladder frame and there was not a lot of support going in this way. If a car hit you this way, it would crush in the interior all the way up to it hit this before it would stop. Um, it's not quite the greatest frame design. And so what GM was trying to do was bring in these rear axles with these long braces in here which would go into there and mount on the body as because there was like with the square frame there was areas to put the, the springs across in this but on this X frame there isn't so they needed these side braces popping out here on your rear axle in order to hold the axle in place properly because there's no way to do it on an X frame so in case you're wondering that's why that's like that so here are some more undercarriage parts including the front suspension which is molded as a one piece we've been looking at a lot of videos with the steering posable wheels but unfortunately monogram didn't add that in there on this and now here's our <laughs> engine components and the radiator and everything else that we need it's quite huge quite a huge parts tree fills the whole bottom of the box and finally we have our tires and I don't know if I showed it but oh yeah yeah the white wall inserts are with the convertible top and there's a battery for you too so that will conclude our examination of the monogram 1959 Cadillac convertible well we hope you enjoyed that elegant excessive chrome monster on monster hobbies what's in the box i'm talking about the 59 caddy of course and if you would like to see what other cars are available at our web store please visit us at www.monster-hobbies.ca we ship worldwide and if you enjoy these videos and want to see more, like and subscribe and click the notification bell right here. And check out these three other amazing videos. 
And until next time, keep it sparkling.